The Great Dane or German Deutsch Doggy is a giant-sized dog breed. The breed is recognized by FCI, CKC, AKC, ANKC, NKC, NZKC, APRI, UKC, ACR. It is one of the largest dog breeds in size. The types of wool colors of this breed are different. Fawn, brindle, marble, gray marble, raincoat, black, plantain, blue, red marble, porcelain. The coat of the Great Dane is short and dense, smooth and shiny. Moderate malting. The growth of Great Danes at the withers. Males at least 80 cm, females at least 72 cm, and the weight reaches 90 kg. The character of the Great Dane can be called calm, problems in communicating with people, as a rule, do not arise. The only thing worth remembering is that these dogs, not realizing their physical size relative to a person, can easily knock him to the ground. Therefore, when playing with him, you should not consider this as aggression from the animal. History of the breed. The predecessor of the Great Dane is depicted in a miniature by the French artist Robin Attestard for the book, a moral book about the chess of love. The manuscript was created in 1496-1598 in Cognac. The dog is depicted on the leash of its owner Count Charles of Angalim. The Bullinbicer, Bulldog, or Hats and Soridan, or dogs, should be considered as the forerunners of the modern Great Dane, which were halfway between the strong English type of Mastiff and the fast, agile Sighthound. The term Great Dane primarily denoted a large, strong dog that was not a representative of any breed. Later names like Ulmer Doggy, English Doggy, Danish Doggy, Great Dane, Hatsrud, Boar Dog, Sopacker, and Great Dane, Gross Doggy, denoted different types of these dogs, depending on their color and size. In 1878, in Berlin, a committee of seven active breeders and judges was created under the leadership of Dr. Bodinus, which decided to classify all the above types of dogs as Great Dane. Thus, the foundation was laid for the breeding of this particular German breed. In 1880, on the occasion of an exhibition in Berlin, the first standard of the Great Dane was approved. This was done under the supervision of the National Great Dane Club, Deutscher Doggen Club 1888 EV, and the standard changed several times over the years. This version of the standard corresponds to the FCI model. Since 1965, the Great Dane has been the official symbol of the state of Pennsylvania. Great Dane is a noble, large dog combining pride, strength, elegance with a powerful and harmonious body, with sexual dimorphism is well pronounced. The format of the Great Dane seems almost square, this applies especially to males. Females can be of a more extended format. The length of the back, from the sternum to the pelvis, should not exceed the height at the withers by more than 5% in males and 10% in females. Height at withers. Males 80-90 cm, females 70-84 cm. The head is in harmony with the overall appearance. Long, narrow, chiseled, especially under the eyes. The brows are well developed but not protruding. The distance from the tip of the nose to the well-defined stop and from the stop to the slightly prominent occipital bone should be as equal as possible. The top line of the muzzle and skull should be parallel. The head should appear narrow when viewed from the front, but the width of the nose should be as wide as possible. The muscles in the cheeks are only slightly defined and in no way protrude. The nose is well developed, wider than round, with large nostrils. Must be black except for marble dogs, let's say white with black dots. In marble dogs, a black nose is desirable, but a partially pigmented nose is acceptable. The muzzle is deep and as rectangular as possible. Well-defined lip angles. Dark pigmented lips. In marbled lips, incompletely pigmented lips are allowed. Well-developed wide jaws. Strong, healthy and complete scissor bite, 42 teeth. The eyes are of medium size, round, as dark as possible, with a lively intellectual expression. In blue Great Danes, slightly lighter eyes are acceptable. In marble, lighter eyes and discordance are allowed. The eyelids should fit snugly. The ears are set high, naturally drooping, of medium size. The front of the ear is close to the cheeks. The neck is long, beautiful, and muscular. Well set, it passes smoothly, tapering towards the head, slightly curving. The dog should keep the neck upright, with a slight forward bend. The withers are the highest point of a strong body. It is formed by the highest points of the shoulder blades, located just above the main line of the back. The back is short and firm. Slightly inclined towards the rear. The loin is slightly arched, broad and muscular. The croup is wide and muscular. Slightly sloping from rump to base of tail. The tail starts from the croup. Set on high, wide at the base, tapering evenly towards the tip. In a calm state, it naturally hangs down. In a state of excitement or in motion, it can be carried like a saber, but not significantly above the back line. Horse hair at the bottom of the tail is undesirable. The chest reaches the elbows. Well movable ribs going far back. Chest of good width with a well-defined ribsage. The belly is well tucked up, forming a beautifully curved line with the lower line of the sternum. The shoulders are very well muscled. 
The long oblique scapula forms an angle of approximately 100 to 110 degrees with the forearm. The forearms are strong and well-muscled, close fitting, should be slightly longer than the shoulder blades. The elbows should be turned neither in nor out. The forelegs are strong and muscular. Fully straight when viewed from the front. The metacarpus joint is strong, stable, only slightly different from the structure of the paw itself. The metacarpus is strong. Straight when viewed from the front. Slightly tilted forward when viewed from the side. The feet are round, well arched and tightly closed, cat feet. The nails are short, firm, as dark as possible. The entire skeleton is completely covered in strong muscles, which make the croup, eyes, and flanks appear wide and rounded. Strong, well-angled hind legs, seen from the rear parallel to the forelegs. The upper part of the thigh is long, broad, muscular, the knee is strong, located almost vertical to the articulation of the thigh. The lower thigh is long, approximately the same length as the upper thigh. Well-muscled, the knee is strong, firm, turning neither in nor out. The ankle is short, strong, almost perpendicular to the ground. Feet. Round, well-arched, cat's paw. The nails are short, firm, as dark as possible. The skin is tight. Well-pigmented in solid colors. In marbled dogs, the distribution of pigment mainly corresponds to the markings, spots. The coat is very short and dense, smooth and shiny. The Great Dane is bred in three separate groups. Fawn and brindle. Tabby and black. Blue. Fawn. Pale gold fawn to deep gold in color. A black mask is desirable. There should be no shades of gray, blue or brown. Small white markings on chest and toes are not desirable. Tiger. A pale gold fawn to deep gold base color with black stripes running towards the ribs. The stripes should be as clear and correct as possible. A black mask is desirable. Small white markings on chest and toes are not desirable. White with black spots, the main background is pure white, if possible without overhair, uneven, ragged, black spots are located all over the body. Gray or brown spots are not desirable. A gray marbled color, various shades of gray background with ragged black spots, is acceptable but not desirable. Black. Deep black white markings are allowed. This also includes the cloak color, in which the entire body is painted black like a blanket, but the muzzle, neck, chest, belly, legs and tip of the tail, may be white. And also platen color the main background is white with a black mask on the head and several evenly colored round spots on the body. Blue. Light bluish gray with a steel sheen, white markings on chest and feet allowed. Fawn or black tint is not allowed. Character. Friendly, kind and loyal to the owner, especially children, distrustful of strangers. Self-assured, unafraid, easily controlled and obedient companion and family dog are essential qualities of a mastiff. He must have high resistance to any provocation and must not be aggressive. By its nature, the Great Dane is a rather cheerful, loyal and very sociable dog. Calm and confident, he will never bark for no reason. Due to its good nature, this breed can be recommended as family pets. The best pastime for a dog is to be with family members, so it is not recommended to leave the dog alone for a long time. The dog perfectly feels the mood of the owner. The training of the Great Dane should not be difficult for an experienced dog owner, since the breed has a good memory. However, during training, it is worth considering the characteristics of the pet, its natural slowness. Interesting facts. The largest dog in the world is considered a Great Dane named Giant George, who lived in the USA and was listed in the Guinness Book of Records. George's height at the Withers was 110 centimeters and weighed 111 kilograms. If you put the dog on its hind legs, then its length exceeded 2.2 meters. Also, its owner wrote the book Giant George. Living with the world's largest dog. He died on October 17, 2013, as the owners of the dog reported, George died at the age of seven years in their home in Arizona, not having lived one month to eight years. The cause of the dog's death was not specified. After the death of Giant George, the largest dog in the world was recognized as a Great Dane named Zeus, who lived with its owners in Michigan, USA. The hide at the withers was 111 centimeters, the hide on the hind legs was 2 meters 23 centimeters, and the weight was 75 kilograms. He died on September 11, 2014 at the age of 5. The average life expectancy of the Great Dane is one of the lowest among different breeds of dogs and is 6.5 years. Great Dane named Cyclone starred in the role of the Baskervilles dog in the 1981 Soviet television movie directed by Igor Maslenikov. Great Dane. Price and how to buy correctly. A German giant puppy should only be purchased from professional breeders. Only if there is a guarantee that the baby will be healthy, with a hollow package of original documents and vaccinated. Conscientious breeders always provide all the necessary papers for their pets, talk about the vaccinations done, the peculiarities of the content and pedigree, and give the opportunity to look at their parents. Selection advice does not differ from general advice for other purebred dogs. 
It will not be superfluous to observe the behavior of the puppies, try to establish contact with them. It is important to find out the conditions of their detention. Healthy babies are always more active, curious and not cowardly. Even visually, you can determine the state of their health. Their eyes should be clear, the skin should be clean, and the coat should be smooth, without any bald spots or abrasions. If there is any doubt about the health of the baby, you should refuse to purchase and consider other options. The strict standards of Great Danes make the majority of newborn puppies a breeding marriage. This will not affect the life of a pet in a family that loves it, since we are talking about various nuances of coat color, setting of ears or tail. The cost of such puppies will be from 200 to 300 US dollars. If the cost is significantly lower, then, most likely, you are not a purebred animal. If a puppy starts up with far-reaching plans to participate in contests and shows at exhibitions, then about 1,000 US dollars or more will have to be paid for the pet. As with all large dog breeds, you should get as much information as possible about the Great Dane before adopting a Great Dane puppy. Learn about the features of care, nutrition and common diseases. It will be useful to personally communicate with representatives of this breed. The Great Dane must become a full-fledged member of the family and receive sufficient care and attention, otherwise you should not start it.